Hello everyone, this is Defense Politics Asia. Um this is the Donets front quick update. Um I let me start from this one. So the Russian forces recaptured Solot K. Uh don't know for the how many times. So now they are talking about you no know, the push towards Novo Mihailivka. Um Oh yeah, I'm I'm sorry about the all my um because uh, it's just a bad habit. I will try to change. Let's see, I will change faster or the war will end faster. So the Russians will are now going to move towards uh Novo Mihailivka. There is no news regarding uh Novo Krenka as well that as well as uh Shataske. Yeah, they, they are likely to be still fighting, and then there is also uh some there is a fighting reported at uh Krano Krasno Horovka. Kanohorovska or Kanohonrivka. No progress at Marinka. Uh, I suspect they're fighting around this area. This is this is just advance that by the you no know, the DPR or Russian forces. Uh, as usual, fighting is at Adivka. Not sure if they can even make any progress. There is also fighting reported uh, north of Adivka at uh, Kayamka, as well as a uh, Novoselivka Druha. Or they also call it the Nova Selivka II. Uh, however, the Donetsk People's Republic forces uh, announced they have completely captured uh, Ver Verken Otorotske. So Verken, Verken Nore Notoretske. Yeah. So that is the news for the Donetsk front. And um, you may be thinking, this front is so slow it's agonizingly slow the moves the the progress are like cr cr uh i think cr crawling is is perhaps the word to use i think a baby crawl will be faster uh so i would like to show you this video which i found on this uh warrior of the second row i just saw it and then uh there is some footages of the fighting in the donates front and i thought it was this will be interesting to show you uh what's happening uh just a just a quick i will be jumping along i will not be allowing you to listen to what they say because i actually don't understand what they say so i better don't let you hear too much Сил Украины на днях подразделение Донецка ограничит районные ранения во время многочисленных перемирий. Условия, которые никто не думал выполнять на гражданской нации. There's no one living in the front. So there's a shrapnel. Look at this terrain. Look at the fronts that they are fighting. The entrenchment. This is almost like World War One. Then the tank firing from from range for farish like an artillery. So, so I just want to you know just show you some footages. Uh, what is it like you know at the front around here? Uh, for that side, I think it's more towards the northern northern area here, uh, where the fighting is more intense and there's actually uh more dug in by the ukrainian side which is why the progress here is uh, ridiculously close to zero whereas this side is actually a breakthrough a breakthrough region so the fighting here is much harder for the ukrainians uh, on this side they are all extremely entrenched uh, in fact if i go deep i actually scroll in deep deep uh deep enough or uh, far enough i'm i actually can actually see some of the entrenchment think no idea where is it i remember i saw it sometime so yep see this is actually trenches so so of course it's very limited it's very hard to actually go through because this area is actually tremendously huge i just want to show you what is it look like you know at the front in that very short video where i skip a lot uh i don't want to get demonetized <laughs> for no reason um but this 
this just want to show you how difficult the fight is. Uh, that's why when people say, you know, the Russians are so lousy, they are moving so slow. And that is literally World War I, World War I style entrenchment. And in World War I, they are, in, they are able to penetrate through the trenches using tanks. That was because there wasn't any efficient anti-tank weapons. Today, we have a ridiculous amount of uh, anti-tank uh, weaponry that can be operated by just one person. So, which means that we have kind of returned back into the World War One era of stalemates, of entrenched uh, lines, which I believe the only way is to actually, you know, throw some tremendously huge bombs uh, to open up a, a way to actually go through. And if the entrenchment is in a residential area, and especially if there is no, if the residents are still staying there, then the Russians can't do it, can't really do it. But if you're talking about the kind of a trench line, you look look at this. Can you see this? These are trench lines. These are trench lines. So if you're talking about trench lines, then uh, of course they could have they they can definitely you know take it out with a big huge bomb not sure why they are not doing it or maybe it's a waste of money to hit a few soldiers just for that little breakthrough and then you get uh, hit on both sides with uh, anti-tank weapons so it's not easy so I kind of pity the soldiers that have to fight on this front on, on this area in fact in this entire war because uh, they are the people that can really type FML in, in, their, in their social media uh anyway this is just a, a quick update on donuts and then i thought that it was that was an interesting video to kind of kind of show you what is it like fighting around here how they keep changing hands uh especially these two cities these two villages they keep changing hands so anyway uh if you enjoy you know the things that i talk about especially you know, the updates if you think is fair i would love you all to subscribe and do check out the description below. Uh, I have a Discord channel now. I'm still trying to figure out what is the best way to set it up. And uh, I have a Patreon. And uh, in Patreon, I will actually, you know, share some very ex share exclusive videos over there or publish it there. Uh, that will not be available to the public. Uh, it's not searchable. The the links are unlisted. Uh, those are to talk about more sensitive topics, which I don't want to get strike for. So I'm not sure if I put it on unlisted, uh, they will strike me or not. Uh, hopefully not. And uh, so anyway, this is the quick update and I'll see you in the next update.